finger tight, I call it, and then a quarter turn past. <laughs> One possibly. click of the elbow. Yeah. 73 <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit. Kind of like <laughs> <watch>. <laughs> yes, 1.21 degrees. <laughs> Dad is taking Ryler and crew. That might be the vanity. Wait, did you hear something? Mm -hmm. At the door? Oh, they yeah, pull sorry. through. I was in the middle of videoing, this is perfect. These are the delivery men that are bringing our vanity. Sorry, we'll get over <laughs> in the middle of me talking about how they were running a little bit late, they knocked on our doorbell. Literally in the middle of me videoing, that always happens. That has now happened with our 100,000th celebration. The Gardeners of Ravelli's knocked on our door. That has also happened when I was expecting pizza. I just need to vlog about it and it will happen. It's like magic. Yeah, let's do that again. <laughs> this is the vanity, you guys. Well, at least part of it. The countertop is actually a separate piece, which is kind of nice for transporting. It's not quite as heavy. We gotta switch out the handles on this. We just got delivered. Everything seems to fit just great. Look at that. Retracts all by itself. All the drawers seem to be working good. I'm excited to show you guys this in a little better lighting and in a little better placement because this is a really cool, I like this bottom piece right here, but we're gonna get this thing downstairs right now. Yeah. Nice, you guys, she's gonna love it. Totally awesome, sweetie, what do you think? Totally awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What's wrong? So guys, everything was going really well. It looked beautiful, and then we took out the backsplash, and unfortunately it's split right down the middle, so. It's near perfect. We're trying to figure out what to do about the backsplash. Mom's on the phone right now to find out if you can order a separate backsplash without having to return the entire unit, because this will be our third one. <laughs> Good news, it is possible to send back just the backsplash. So we were able to get the vanity downstairs. We're ready to set that up. That's what we're gonna be doing this weekend. We're super excited about it. The backsplash will be reordered and we just have to wait for just the backsplash to come. So not a huge deal, but not a 100% success rate. But we have our new vanity in the home. Big deal. Super excited, it's really pretty. We'll be fine without the backsplash for a while, so. Oh yeah, and I bet you they'll get it pretty quickly anyways. We still have some stuff to do. We gotta put the baseboards in, install the toilet. We got a lot of stuff to do. And, and who so do you call? Her dad. <laughs> All right, guys, the time has come to do some serious work in here. We just got the vanity moved in. We got Papa Bob here, Mindy's dad, to help out because I know nothing about plumbing, obviously. So right down here is where we're trying to put this together. And as you can see, the hole's not matching up, so we're gonna have to get creative with that. We're gonna put a couple of the baseboards down, get this toilet installed, but we're starting to put this thing together. <laughs> Right, you guys, things are coming along perfectly here. A lot of things falling into place. Thank goodness Papa Bob's here. Always knows how to do this stuff. It's amazing. Check this out, you guys. You ever wonder where the poop goes? Ew, that's where the poop goes. We just busted that seal open, shaved this thing off. We just shut off the water main. We're draining the water. We're gonna cut this open and get this toilet sealed off and installed. It's looking good, you guys. I feel like baseboards are such a nice finishing touch. Baseboards just make it look more complete. So those are in. Vanity's gonna go here. You can see our confined workspace we're working with here. So grateful for Mindy's dad. I would wager that 80% of the stuff in this house that's been installed or set up or hung or anything like that has been with his help or it's even been built by him. Just could never thank him enough for all that he does for our family in this regard, especially because it's certainly not my strength. It's not something that I'm good at. And instead of destroying our home and doing it the wrong way, he'll come and show me how to do it the right way. So very appreciative of that. Is that designed just to cut? Yeah. Just oh, that's just really cool. TV. It's gotta be a collection of tools over a lifetime there. Oh, <laughs> oh there we go. There we go. It's gonna squirt all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. Look how much water is coming out. This is, everything is draining from upstairs. Luckily, it's nice clean water. Yeah, that's good. This isn't the poo water yet. No, this isn't poo water. <laughs> like I said, if that was poo water, you'd be doing it. <laughs> Bring that toilet in here. Turn it in. See it? Yeah, it's through it. I mean, it's in it. Does the wax just kind of like work its way in? Just yeah. coming up in the air? It'll smush it. Just like way in the air. Oh, it will be. Oh, okay. Make sure we're good. So if you just put a little pressure in the back there, that's gonna that's what it's doing. level it out. There you go. It self-centers. That's awesome. I'm sure you just stand there in video while I do all the work. Oh. It's okay, everyone. I read the instructions to him. Well, I keep thinking the tanks are like ours. I need you know how it goes. Has... So which one's the top and the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> the big one. It's getting up close and personal with us, everybody. Installing the crapper. Do you need to help? There we go. Almost there? Can't use it yet. Am I doing it right? 
Yeah, so okay. here's what, you want to get down here, can you take a look right down here, you just... Yeah, tell us how it's done, honey, what's that? Grateful that I can teach your dance. Honey, that's a screw. It's not going on, it's not going on. the camera, you got the camera. I'll let you go. Home. Thank you. Probably get a towel for his head, he's probably sweating from work. <laughs> right? nope. Oh, too no, tight. not too tight, okay. Oh, yeah, the other side, okay. Yeah, you get a hug that thing. Yeah, two of these. Guys, yeah, this is the second time you need to hug a toilet. This looks good, proper. honey. Yeah, so if you just give About it... 88. Inch pounds are. So I like to go finger tight, I call it, and then a quarter turn past. <laughs> One click of the elbow. Yeah. 73 <laughs> degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> yes. 1.21 <laughs> two <laughs> watts. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and we are all, right. all learning so tonight. Firm. I don't know, kind of. Little, little more, One more click, I think. A little bit more elbow grease there, honey. Then you can you can have him get down and check it to see how tight he does it next time he does one. Yeah. So this is the size you want. You want to just come down here, verify. Pretty good. Got her good. Uh, yeah. You could probably. Uh, you need to work out some more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Cut it. Cut it. <laughs> Moment of Drum truth. Roll. Here we go. Let's see if this holds water and doesn't like leak. Christmas vacation. <laughs> and here comes the water. Who's nervous? The first water of, of Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> this actually was my Christmas present. That's this toilet. <laughs> okay, now we just check down here for any leaking. I'm going up it slow. It's right? coming in. in. Oh. Sorry. You, scared me. <laughs> you just scared him. <laughs> you scared me. I'm not worried about yet. this part leaking. It's that part leaking. That don't stink. That does. That does. It'll fill up. So this has got two little uh, pushy thingies, is what the technical term is, and then this is actually your number one and your number two, two. respectively. You guys, we are getting very You're personal on this video. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> now, just please don't demonstrate. Is, yes. There is a front and a back. Okay, and then I just set it on here. Interesting. That's okay. actually really cool. Okay, get ready to run. Okay, give her a whirl. This is the first try, so we're gonna- Okay, let's roll. try. Are you ready? Okay. Hey, hey, function works. The push works. <gasps> We have a potty! <laughs> Good job, Brandon. <laughs> no leaks, people. Yet. There's no Not water. Yet. Yet. I'll keep an eye on it through the We have to try and go number two first. Okay, now try it. Yeah. Okay, now let's assume we just want a big stinky number two. <laughs> oh my god. No. And we just want to do a bigger flush. This is a daddy size flush. Oh my gosh. That thing's fast. That's like, pretty good. Who pays attention to the speed of the water emptying? Hey, that's something. I do. I okay. like this though, because there's not the little chain and the plug and all that thing that always is going wrong on our other ones. And the handle that breaks off, you just push this or this. On the instruction. He's just pretending like he's under the hood of a car, all you guys. Right. Pretty good. I think we got a spark plug out. Right. <laughs> Surprise you know. Let your finger. Drop yeah, the nut right on his head. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Kind of turn the right way, you know something. Does this go up inside that hole? So yeah. You got that one. Just testing, yeah. So you got one making sure. He just wants mark. to make sure Dad knows. Is that passing? Yep. All right. I can see you learned from our earlier instruction session. I'll camera from video. Yeah. Your first video. <laughs> you have the camera on when I'm teaching you this stuff. <laughs> Okay. I just want to make sure. Right Are you done taking a nap, honey? Well, Come on, get see. up. Do you need help? All right, let's give it a first test. Oh, look at that. Hey, look uh, at that. That is very the slow. Slow closing, quiet ceiling toilet. Wow. Hey, guys, I'm going to give it its first real world test. Okay, sit on it. See if it you are not it. going to do that. <laughs> that is bad. All right, so you just finished. You get up, you give it the flush. I'm going to save the water because I'm environmentally conscientious. And then you just. Walk away, and 20 minutes later, it's <laughs> <laughs> It is so it's slow. Oh. I know, but it saves it slamming. That's nice. Give me a screwdriver. Support me. Scalpel. Scalpel. Uh, let me get my socket wrench kit. Do you know what a socket wrench is? It's the Allen wrench's cousin. The center of <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, toilet is in. Next step is vanity. As you saw earlier, we're going to have to make some modifications. We've got to cut some stuff out of the back. It doesn't match up perfectly. Nothing ever does. We are so... The toilet literally went perfectly. Probably because I was in charge of that operation. <laughs> 
countertop is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. Can't wait till we get the backsplash and get this thing in. It's gonna be amazing. This is a little bit different style of a vlog because what you've seen to this point was actually the end of yesterday. We just had too much to put into one vlog and we were up late working on that toilet. So we're now moved into Sunday, halfway through the vlog here, and we're showing the kids the toilet for the first time and what's been done in the basement bathroom. So guys, you guys wanna go check out the new toilet? Yeah! <laughs> Who gets as excited about a toilet? <laughs> so, Ta-da! <laughs> so, so, check this out. So this is kind of cool. So here you go. Here's your toilet, right? That seems pretty simple. All right, guys, why don't you go ahead and shut the lid? Just flip it shut. Oh! And we saw a toilet that does this. So now, guys, here's something else I'll explain to you, okay? Because this is kind of new for us. This is a number one and a number two flush. So if you go pee, you push the little one, and that only lets out a little bit of water. <laughs> and then if you go number two, <laughs> You push this one and it does more water to let out more. So, does anybody want to use it for the first time? <laughs> I need some privacy. <laughs> Alright guys, the first use of the bathroom is done. Right guy, will you go ahead and do the honors of the flush? <laughs> it works! <laughs> That's what we did last night. Hello guys, it's Ryder. Remember in yesterday's vlog how we went to Provo Beach Resort? I just wanted to show you, well, I'm pretty sure you guys already saw what I got there, but I just want to show you what it looks like outside of the box. This is it. It is a headphone thing. These are the headphones, and they're actually pretty comfy. All you gotta do is turn this on. Mm-mm-mm. And another cool feature about this is it's wireless. I'll show you. Right here is the on switch. Just gotta turn it on until that red light comes on. And then you gotta turn this on to wireless headphone. And the cool part is that I just barely found out you can listen to the radio. It's church music since today's Sunday. It is Sunday. Welcome to us getting ready for church. I just got myself ready and I was just picking out Hazel's clothes for her. And I said, do you want to curl your hair today? Yes. She's so excited. Hazy, she is literally still in this costume, you guys. She will not take it off. Hazy, do you want to curl your hair and look beautiful? Who's in that mirror? Me. Are you beautiful? I, I get that. <laughs> We're going to get you ready for church. Let's curl that beautiful hair. Okay, Miss Hazy. Let's show them. Okay, so we have a little bit tight curls. We just sprayed them with hairspray. Oh and then I just let them sit for a minute. Here, we. I want to show them the back. Then we just let them sit for a minute. And then after a little while, I'll brush my fingers through them. But I usually, see they're pretty stiff right now. What I'll usually do is just get like a cute little bow and just put it right here so you can see all her curls so we don't put them up high. Are you beautiful? Yes. Don't ever forget it, okay? Yes. I love you. I love you. I love you. All right, guys, we just got home from church, literally just walked in, and we had received a visit from the bathroom fairy. I don't know if there's a bathroom fairy, but guys, we came home, and look what's going on here. Right, guys, already in here checking it out. Cannot believe it. Also, he's pretty swagged out, looking pretty sick. Love it. This is how being a shop. Guys, look at that. We have a vanity up against the wall. Now, how did that happen? We showed you earlier in today's video that it didn't fit. Well, look what Papa has done while we were at church. He surprised us. We came home. He's got all the water hooked up. He's cut out a nice, perfect little half circle there, a circle there, and everything is fitting. It's in here now. Come here, Rex Doodle. Check it out. It's flush against the wall. It's in there now. Now we're just assembling the sink and putting it into the granite countertop, and then we're gonna place it on top. And you guys, this thing is getting closer and closer to being done. We came home from church, and this is the workstation down here. Papa had been building building the sink for us while we were gone. He's got everything out. It was missing a couple pieces. He's gonna see if he can round those up. But what an incredible guy, you guys. Both Mana and Papa coming over, surprising us while we're gone, trying to get this done for us. Chilling on a Sunday here. We got a little activity in the kitchen, as is the norm on a Sunday. Mom's whipping up some cookies over here. What are they, Mom, again? Pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. You guys, I tried to not use a ton of chocolate chips, so I had one of our amazing subscribers in the fall time send us pumpkin chocolate chips. So I put them in these pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. Okay, speaking of fall time, the weather has made a complete change. We're moving into springtime, it feels like. We set our clocks ahead an hour last night, and outside it is nice and warm, so I'm using the grill again. We're barbecuing some turkey burgers. Not that exciting, but we're using the grill, and that's fun. You got crew over here. On the dishwasher, look at that little stud. Emptying the dishwasher. 
Right guys in here reliving his glory of the first time ever on Cannibal. If you guys haven't checked that video, you gotta check it out. It's this insane roller coaster we have here. This was the first time Ryder ever went on it and he was a boss on it, just loved it. All right guys, out here. Oh, you guys, actually I just saw this behind me. That's a huge announcement that we forgot to give you guys. Does anybody see what's over my shoulder right there? The lot behind us is for sale, you guys. We woke up one morning, we're having breakfast and looked out the window and went, oh my gosh, it's for sale. Which is a good and a bad thing. The bad thing is, is they want an outrageous amount of money for it because we checked and we just don't have that kind of money right now or really the ability to get that kind of a loan. The good news is, is they're thinking of selling it so maybe there's a chance we can get in on it, talk them down in price, I'm not sure. It is for sale. If a home is built there, you guys, that change the whole dynamic. I mean, think about if there was a home starting right there at the edge of that grass, that would be, I mean, our yard would end. We'd be looking out our kitchen window and back windows right into someone else's windows. I just don't know how we'd feel about that. So we're anxiously anticipating what's going to happen with that being up for sale. Fingers crossed that either we get it or it just doesn't sell. <laughs> Something else that I owe you guys an update on. Thank you, Rick Doodle. Something else that I owe you guys an update on is uh, Dylan's drone. We have some good and sad news about that. He did get his drone down. I'll probably save the longer story for maybe another vlog. The bad news is though, he shot it down with a slingshot, it came crashing to the ground and obliterated on impact. So he's working through DJI and the place where he bought it to try and get that repaired, maybe send it back in, fix the different things that broke off of it. But he got it down, just not maybe in the fashion that he would have liked. But you guys, thank you for your amazing comments about the tree service. Everybody said to call somebody who works on trees. We never even thought of that. He made the phone call, someone said, yeah, sure, I've got the equipment, I'll go get it. But unfortunately, before they got there, he shot it down with a slingshot, so. <laughs> but it was your idea that almost got it down safely, so thank you guys. So this is where it stands for today looking so good you guys put in some sticky stuff underneath the corners here so we're letting that sit before we start messing around with the pipes underneath and then all we got to do is come down here connect the pipes and the hoses and all the other dilemma bobs <laughs> that go under his sink up through there and this thing's gonna be in business and good to go. But it's amazing to me what they were able to accomplish while we were at church today. What incredible people. Papa Bob always coming through in the clutch and just surprising us with his skills every single time. It looks gorgeous, you guys. It's coming along so nicely. I am so excited. Of course, we still have this full set to put up. Towel racks and the toilet paper holders and all those different things. Everything to do in the shower still. We still gotta put in the handles and the shower heads. We have those purchased, so those are going in. Then we have some baseboards left to do just down here and down on this side but those ones are done so from this angle right here oh and a mirror we got to get a mirror Mindy wants a really really big one but from here you can see it's coming along it's looking so good you guys good evening I am here in Mindy's salon well, well, this is a nice rare salon. treat for me usually I'm not allowed in here but she's actually sitting here writing thank yous to all of our amazing subscribers who have sent us fan mail and you letters guys are awesome. you guys are incredible it's fun to just kind of sit here at night and read through the letters some of them are pretty long and so you need to set aside some time to I read know. through them and they some of them bring tears to our eyes you guys like they yeah. are the sweetest set Tonight minutes. was one of those nights. Tonight was definitely one of those nights. Thank you guys for filling our lives with joy and sharing with us how we've brought joy into your lives. We absolutely love this. We hope you enjoyed watching the bathroom come together a little bit better. We still have some stuff to go, but it's looking really good. Yeah, it's so amazing. And you guys, huge shout out to my dad. Drop a comment below for my dad because he's amazing. We call yeah. him Papa Bob. We'll have him read the comments and <laughs> see how much you guys love him. We told him that everyone's going to be pretty impressed. Thanks for hanging out with us today. And thanks for hanging out with us all weekend. around much today. Sundays are tough because mom's got a lot of meetings so she wasn't around a ton but yesterday was awesome getting to do the Disney oh my gosh the, it was so fun I'm so tired and daylight and then, savings signs that is like oh that's what I was going to say speaking of daylight savings time I know they only have that here in the United States but did it mess up anyone else's life like our kids were terrible today <laughs> it was so crazy to me how oh, the one hour difference that they don't even know the time on the clock but it had to be that because they were off their game today so let us know if it messed you guys up at all that was a that's weird crazy. phenomenon today tomorrow we'll be back at it back in action we're going to hit the track with crew we're gonna hit the real dirt track take him out there on his dirt bike so that's gonna be so awesome to get him out there get him some more time the weather is beautiful out here yeah you guys it's been great thanks for hanging out with us you guys rock we're grateful for all of you and thank you to all of our new people welcome to the family welcome we love you guys we appreciate each and every one of you thank you so much for being a part of our family we will see you tomorrow good night everybody see ya bye